Education is a community endeavor. It's just not about schools. We've got to get more people involved. Everyone has a role to play in education. And to have um, a home high school in that entire area between Whale Branch, Dale, all the way up to Yamasee, that community will become um, very focused on the achievements and the activities at the school. I would say represent the community because Everyone in that community can embrace that school and put their arms around it and, and have it for, as said, this is mine, this is what this belongs to me. It's a beautiful building in a, a gorgeous tract of land, very level piece of land in the Whale Branch area, close to the middle school, close to Whale Branch Elementary School and Davis Early Learning Center, and it's just a beautiful piece of property. Probably I think one of the most unique features uh, about the facility is the fact that we've had an opportunity to collaborate with our partners uh, during the actual construction and very rarely does that happen but uh, in that collaboration we've been able to retrofit an entire wing of the building uh, to meet the standards and specifications that are required uh, to support those programs that we'll have in collaboration with TCL. We are so blessed to have been able to say to folks, we're working on a new concept, we're trying to create something different for our students, would you join with us? And everybody from the literacy volunteers of the Low Country who will be providing classes there to USC Beaufort, which is going to be working with our students on early, early childhood programs, and the Sheriff's Department who will be working with us on our law enforcement programs, and the biggest area, of course, is the Technical College of the Low Country, which is partnering with us from the day one, the first words on the paper of the specific curriculum, because it will extend the TCL offerings in that part of the county as well. well we're, we're, we're fortunate to participate in the partnership because it's a great opportunity to, I think, educate a new dimension of, of students in a new way, one that has uh, and shows promise to them that will get them in, involved in advanced learning opportunities and quickly into the workforce. And that's the goal, as well as to have them graduate both with a high school credential and a college credential. Just like every high school has elective offerings, Well Branch Early College High School will have a unique set of offerings that will allow students to matriculate not only to aspire toward the high school diploma, but then also that college credential. Uh, the elective areas really boil down to five specific areas criminal justice, education and early childhood development, electronics with a specific focus on digital home, technology integration, smart homes, uh, also design technology, and uh, last but not least, health science or allied health studies. Uh, there's not a typical student profile. We just really want students who are interested in, in accepting the rigorous challenge. The, uh, the invitation is open across the district. Uh, just like in any other high school, you'd have an opportunity to, to apply and transfer. But we just envision this school having a student body of individuals who are committed to their own success. I think all students will benefit from this program. I think that this program is going to be transformational for the community. Um, transformational for the student, transformational for the families that are involved with the program, their parents, guardians, and transformational long term for the whole community in the Northern Beaufort area. The curriculum um, was led primarily by our Board of Education, which in May 2007 voted for this school to become a technical high school. And so as we studied what are the careers in which students will need in the 21st century, we focus of course on things like healthcare, on law enforcement, on um, computer-aided drafting, and technical areas like that that students will need jobs in, early childhood education. And then we began to look for partners who would help us advance that curriculum within the community so that students have hands-on opportunities from day one when they enter the Whale Branch Early College High School. The real opportunity coming here is this is a magnet school. This, this is, in, in, in terms of traditional what magnets are all about, the magnet opportunity attracting learners from all across Beaufort County, north and south, make this a wonderful opportunity for students to come together to really get serious about, uh, about learning in a whole different dimension. I think it's going to be a great pilot site for us. 
that we could take this concept beyond, beyond uh, Beaufort County, even into the other counties that are in the Low Country. But we were beginning here, and we're putting a lot of resources behind this to make sure it's going to be successful. And I commend the leadership for their involvement to looking out for their constituents in the community as well as the students for the opportunities that it affords them. The fact that we are doing something to give students a head start, boy, a head start, uh, in, in post-secondary education. The fact that we uh, students will have an opportunity to either receive an associate's degree or some kind of certification when they complete their high school uh, uh, education that could lead immediately into employment or uh, additional education that could uh, further their skills. I think it's awesome to be able to bring to a community that has not had its own high school something that's not just for students who are 13 to 18 years old, but also reaches out to any folks in the community who wish to take adult education or continuing education classes, folks who are able to come and take computer um, opportunities that they may not have the uh, transportation access to because of distance, and to really pull the community in to make Whale Branch Early College High School the center of that community. These students will now have an opportunity to extend their involvement in the school by being in their community where commutes uh, prevented them from participation in extracurricular activities and extra events that would enhance their learning. Now they have a greater opportunity to do that. And this is why this particular school, in my opinion, is going to be a model and it's going to be successful.